Like a current real world problem is lithium ion battery fires. Yep, perfect right? example. Like perfect. They're, yeah. they're in everything. Right. And, and here at FDIC, you see guys riding around on little scooters. And I mean, lithium ion batteries are very much a thing in the fire service now. You think in a year with data collection through NEARS, we're going to be able to address the problem better? Because right now, I really don't know how many fires you've had yeah, or they've no. had. Like, we're all having our own problems, but unless you go to, there's a few workshops here, there's some classes here at FDIC about it. But how are we sharing what your side of the country is seeing and our side and without collecting it? I mean, Hundred percent. And how do you, how do you address or how do you perform risk reduction on that issue if you have no data we don't know about what the, what the problem is? is. So we don't know what the we look what internationally. The, um, Singapore, as an example, they they stopped it almost immediately because they had the data proving what was occurring and why it was occurring, and they just changed their import requirements. You can't import a lithium-ion battery in Singapore unless it meets a certain standard. We don't have that. We take any battery they make anywhere in the world. So they, their lithium-ion battery fires plummeted because they refuse to accept anything that's a high risk, what they say is a high risk, and just an amazing way to use the data. But they could justify that decision with real, you know, with validated data yeah. based on their response. So that's the kind of things we'll be able to do. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, uh, Chief Jenkins from, from FSRI or AUL um, presented yesterday, he said they currently, based on inverse and the way we collect data and analyze data in the fire service, it's 12 to 24 months before we even identify and define an emerging problem, right. like lithium ion batteries. Yeah. Because when it really finally hit the national level of an issue, how long had it been going on? Probably years. And until we had the mass fatality fires like in Philly and New York, it really wasn't you know, a thing. But I, I want to say, you know, FDNY has some pretty scary data come out about the number of fires caused by lithium ion batteries in the city. And it was a very high percentage. It was yeah. incredible. We're only a benefit from because they chose to share it and they chose to collect it. 